I'm going to read you the entry that actually won me second runner-up at Romanticon 4 Romance Writers Contest um, held downtown at, you guessed it, the Double Tree. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave you with this right here. This is uh, a little bit of romance writing from me to you. Last summer, before my current position as a scrawny 28-year-old temp at an insurance company, I was a lean 19-year-old Irish stable boy named Clive. <laughs> the New England landowners that employed me counted on me to keep up their expansive riding grounds. They did not count on me meeting their sultry, brazen daughter, Victoria. I fell in love with her because she was wild. She did things like cliff dive and edit video on computers that were not Macintosh. <laughs> She fell in love with me because I was in touch with my feminine side. I did things like smell flowers and sit down to pee. <laughs> our first kiss occurred during one of our gallops to the Boston countryside. She said she was thirsty, so I let her drink the sweat off my jaw. <laughs> Unquenched, she asked for more, so I told her of a hidden well I discovered when I tore the throat out of my first panther. <laughs> Her horse was exhausted, so I tied it to a plank of wood that I randomly throw axes at. And she side saddled behind me as we rode to the well. She would have fallen off had she not been able to hold on to my ludicrously defined back. The well was empty. Thirsty and far from home, she became frightened. Using an ancient Irish mystic survival tactic, I cried into a freshly bloomed flower at twilight. Throwing the flour into the well, it overflowed with milk and honey, and we drank until we didn't want those things anymore. <laughs> we could contain it no more. I threw the saddle on the ground, and upon it mounted her so gently that forest animals nearby began doing things to each other. <laughs> things only Captain America is allowed to do when he is not dressed as Captain America. Thirty seconds later, we lay satiated, awestruck. <laughs> Using the light of the moon and my Highlander instincts, we rode bare back to the stables. She bid me farewell, hopped in a roadster, and tore off back to her Italian villa. The next day, we formed a stained cover band called Moderately Soiled. <laughs> her parents fired me when they found out about it. Not because they disapproved of our love affair, but because we were really good at covering stain. Hey guys, that's my time. Thanks, I'm David.